What's up, guys? Hello, hello. We are back, episode four of Claws. And the fat. <laughs> Always seal the cheers with a kiss. 100%. What's up? First of all, check out these new chairs, guys. I know this space turned out to be super bitchin'. It did. It really did. Yeah, we got these chairs last week. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and they just they match so nicely with the rest of the room. For so sure. excited about them. Yeah. Also excited about these new Jordans. Check these babies out. Whoa! Rocking some Jordans today. Got the Jordans on. And <laughs> yeah, what about this picture? Oh, it was uh, quite the addition. Quite the addition to the quite picture. Quite the addition to the room. All right. So <laughs> today, Claws and Effect, episode four, we are covering balance. A lot of people question us um on work life balance and i think this is a good time for us to literally discuss how we figured out or how we make our life balance right because dustin and i do everything together we work together we have a relationship together we parent a dog together yeah like we, we run businesses together yeah. we exercise together and so our lives have pretty much meshed mm -hmm together but but what does that look like how do we make it work for us and is there an actual work life balance and for us there there really is no difference and, and that's kind of what we're building and, and that's what we'll get into so first and foremost health yeah um it, it's a huge part of mine in your life especially being nutrition and fitness coaches but like health to us uh what does that look like well to us that i mean just kind of go back a little bit ever since Dustin and I decided to take our health back we have been doing it together um, and now like we get up in the morning and we set a goal to first thing walk in the morning like that is not only for our health but it's also for our dog journey um, making sure that she's getting the exercise that she needs first thing in the morning uh, making sure that like we're getting our body up and moving and the blood flowing and a lot of times that's when we have really good conversation too for sure um, but starting out our morning we have already a routine that is set in place so we kind of can have that balance and we know what we're looking for first thing in the morning so it first starts with the walk yeah for sure and that's exactly what you said is like there's no question tomorrow morning when we get up it, it, the, the the balance or the expectation or the whatever you want to call it is you know what to do yeah. there's no question there's no qualms there's no nothing it's just put your stuff on put your shoes on grab the dog leash and head out the door. Mm -hmm. So there's never that communication that we have to have. Right. It's what we know what needs to be done. Yeah, we've already set that out for each other. So we do our walk. For sure. And then the next thing we do is we come back and we exercise our mind is the way that we like to put it. So yeah, and we that do that like? individually. So she goes into her little space and I go into my little space and we both read and we read uh, 10 pages usually, that's what we did on 75 Hard, mm -hmm. but we also do some visualization with some music and some things to really start to get our minds flowing and going for the day. Without our minds in control, we have zero balance. Right, and then the way that I like to look at it is reading or visualizing, it's implanting that positivity in your mind for the day. So like your day starts off positive because it's so easy to let outside influences and things give us that negative mindset and kind of affect us for the rest of the day. So we like to start implanting that positivity so we're ready to go. For sure, and the, the, the next thing we do is put Journey in our cage and then it's time for us to hit the gym. And when we hit the gym, the workout's already planned, the thing's already done, it's literally walk in, fuck shit up, and leave. <laughs> Like, it's that simple. Yeah, we go into the gym with the knowing of this is what we're doing today. It's not walking in and then thinking, okay, what am I going to do? How many reps do I want to do on what? How many sets? What actual movements am I going to do? Everything is just laid out. So, like, having a routine, I think, in the morning is very important when it comes to anything, really. But, like, for us, our health. For sure. Yeah, for sure. And that's literally starting the balance of life for us. Mm -hmm. I think the routine, I think the you know idea of what we need to do and how we need to move forward helps us stay balanced. Yeah. Um, and so when we're done with the gym, we literally come home, eat breakfast. That's already we've already done of our all of our meal prep uh, today, Sunday. So we've already prepped all of our food for the week. Mm -hmm. 
we literally warm up or cook real quick what we need to for breakfast as well as start to pack our lunches so that we're ready to go for the day because we still work a nine to five. Mm -hmm. And the weird thing is, is we work together. Mm -hmm. So we get in the car to go like, you know, we eat breakfast and then we get in the car together and we drive to work. We bring our dog with us to work. Mm -hmm. And so as you can see, like our lives really mesh together, no matter where we are, we're all together and we're doing the things to move our lives forward. Right. And we're just finding that, that little bit of balance to help us transition into the next thing. Yeah, for sure. And so to me, the, the next thing is our relationship. Mm -hmm. And we made one huge change this year or recently to help our relationship as well as help mine and your balance in life. What do we do? So what we did is we moved from living in a bus together to buy, renting, leasing an apartment. Um, and what that did is that created space for us to have balance to separate since we are business partners and we are married it gave us that avenue to separate and have an office where this is where we work this is where we talk about business things and then the rest of it is this is where we eat this is where we sleep this is where we have conversations regarding our life or our marriage versus wherever we're standing whether it's in the kitchen or our bedroom we're not talking business we're not talking this like we have separate spaces so we can kind of balance those things out because one of the things that i've learned as being in you know a business partner with you is that you have to learn to separate that this is this is where we're having business conversation this is where we're having marriage conversation and intertwining the two can be very messy sure so having that balance to learn where to separate so you can have i might not like you when we're having these business conversations which is part right? of it it is part of it and like we have those tough conversations sometimes sure and we might not agree and that's okay like For that's sure. all part of being business absolutely but learning to separate that so we're in this room and we're talking business but then when we leave this room and you slam the door you leave it behind <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I slam the door, you leave it behind. It's left in that room. So when we step out, we're married, and yeah. we're not having this. And what's business. for dinner? Right. Yeah. You go into a separate. It's like you transitioned into the next thing. For sure. And you learn where to separate that and those emotions. And that's what's cool is our gym is across the street. Mm -hmm. So when we leave the gym, I don't have to talk to you about the gym anymore. We're done with the gym. Right. When we leave here to go to work, we get to work. When we leave work, work's done, yeah. right? And then it's we come back and now our business kicks in. Mm -hmm. And so you, we got calls and we got clients and we got coaching and we got all these things as well as you know filming this for you guys. Mm -hmm. But like, there's spaces. And so we know, like it's game. When I walk in here with the white shirt and my J's on, like it's, it's game time, you know what I mean? And so yeah. we know that and the expectation, like the board is written out and it's mm -hmm. like, this is what the fuck we gotta do. This is how we're gonna do it and, and let's go. So there's no lag, there's no, it's literally meshing our lives mm -hmm. into one. Right, and as soon as you shut that door to that one, you're done. Like you're yes. done talking about it. Correct. And you move into the next, transition of your your life yeah absolutely so the next thing is obviously journey she has her own needs and we need to spend time with her mm -hmm. we need to take her to the park we need to walk her in the morning we need to take her to the bathroom we need to do all these things and so we also have to make time for that as well obviously we don't have kids um, we can't have kids but she's our kid she's our kid but and I realize that she probably doesn't take as much time as everybody else but we still have to plan them things into our mesh of gym work house play love you know the whole thing and so we've incorporated the walk with her mm -hmm. and so that helps in, in that case and on Sundays a lot of times we take her down to the dog park mm -hmm. but we're always with her toys and bouncing around and doing the whole thing or having the luxury of being able to take her to work with us like yeah. that allows us a little time to you know granted we can't spend every waking moment with her when we're at work but when we take our lunch break she's with us mm -hmm. she eats lunch with us she, we give her like 10 minutes of playing fetch. So we're giving her some time, some good quality time, but just that having that be a part of our life and learning that we can take her with us and it meshes 
with what we're trying to do yes. and it creates that balance for her as well as for us yeah and then she does like when she has to go in her kennel it's like a rare occurrence like yeah. you put her in her kennel for this and it's like oh man mm -hmm. you know what i mean and but we're you just, hear squeak 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 sure all. yeah <laughs> throughout the video sure. if that were the case and that's and that you know obviously we're doing this to to add value yeah. and so we have to put her in her kennel and it's just one of them like weird times that she's in there mm -hmm. so the cool thing is, is me and you've been laying the groundwork for about two years now yeah. and literally learning and figuring out, excuse me, exactly the life that you and I want to live. Mm -hmm. And so our balance looks different than everybody else's. Of course it does. But what we are building with intention mm -hmm. is to balance our lives so much and mesh our lives so much that people can't tell the difference if we're working or playing mm -hmm. or planning or fixing or out for a walk with our dog so with that we have structured our lives with being able to be in-person coaches mm -hmm. being able to be online coaches being able to work from here work from there having the ability to work from our computer having the ability to work from our smartphone having the ability to travel around and work from our bus or travel around into other countries yeah. and do the whole thing like our idea is to be able to work and play mm -hmm. all at the same time with the people that we want to build with, the people we want to play with, the people we want to work with. And that is how we are literally, literally balancing our lives, but creating the life that we want to live. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just finding that ebb and flow in, in our life. For sure. It's like travel is a huge part for us. We absolutely love it. Obviously, we left in a, in a school bus. Like, yeah. We want to see places, we want to do things. And the only way we have learned to do that is to gain the skills and knowledge to be able to work online or work in person or travel or, you know what I mean, pack and light or move or whatever, right. like being open, being able to mm -hmm. move and, and ebb and flow, like you said, wherever it may work out. Yeah, and I think it just, you know, it comes down to figuring out exactly what it is that you want in your life and building your structure around that. So like he said, like we, we realize that we love to travel and we like to be able to go different places and not be tied down somewhere. So in order to do that, we knew that we had to build the life that we wanted so we could have that structure. And then as we started to build that, we found the balance that we needed so we can make it an easy transition so that way we could go wherever we want. Sure. And, and have the life that we wanted. To enjoy. For sure, and what we were learning in the bus is, is without balance, it was chaos. Pure chaos. Because we were sleeping in the bed, working in the bed, eating in talking the bed. in the bed, eating in the bed, watching TV in the bed. Like there was no space for you and I. Mm -hmm. If there was tension, it was hot. If there was, you know, like there was just no. And, and, and so it, being in a small space, it was a very good learning lesson for us. It was. But now that we're able to kind of like block it off, it's so much easier. There's there literally is balance now. It's mm -hmm. so much more healthy. It is. Um, and uh, it, it's it's just a lot more freeing. I, like I feel a lot better. You know, I, I I love the bus life. Yeah, the bus life was amazing, and and I yeah absolutely love it but like you said I mean obviously when you're you're having everything go on in that small space you're having business discussions you're having marriage discussions you're having whatever type of discussion so everything's just t intertwined together and there's no way to really separate it so like you had to sit there and figure your shit out. Mm -hmm. Like there was no escaping it. So that was good. No, that, yeah. That, that was really good. We because learned some it, amazing we learned lessons. Such amazing lessons. But it's very healthy. It's unhealthy yeah. to have like no separation. For sure. So when we got this apartment, like, dang, we, well, first we bought or got an apartment yeah. with just a bedroom. And it was like, yo, we need a desk. We need oh. a space to have business yeah and it, it's been such a wonderful addition one thing that you and i have been bad about and we have started to incorporate this is in our balance is getting away from each other yeah so this weekend i went for a hike with two other men she went for a hike with another woman mm -hmm. and literally having that little separation and her doing her hair and getting her nails done mm -hmm. like those are things you had to give up in the bus 
and now we're not in the bus anymore. So we can do cool things like have the Jordans and you know, yeah. you got a couple extra things. We got skateboards in here as art and, and you know, the, the like nice little setup. And, rehoming and, in on the things that you absolutely enjoy and you, you need. Like, I like what you just said, where you're like actually honing in on the things that you need or want. Mm -hmm. Where when, like when we were living unintentionally in a home, it was mm -hmm. like we had five cars and four motorcycles and three four wheelers and two long motors. Yeah, it was just like something to do. Right. Now, I feel like as we're structuring the balance in life that we're doing now, we're doing it with intention and we're doing it, building it the way we want to build mm -hmm. so that me and you can literally lock the door and be gone for a month yep. and not have like all the bills are paid, all this mm -hmm. is done, there's no, you know, this or that to take care of. Literally, we're out and we'll be back in a month. Yeah. And so that's where we have found the balance in our relationship, in our health, in our bodies, in our minds, in our lives, mm -hmm. is literally to build exactly the life that you want to live. For sure. And like Dustin mentioned, like we we understand that not every everybody's life is like ours, right? Like a lot of people go to nine to five jobs or they're happy with where they are, but like still finding that balance. Like, you know, if your wife or your husband comes home from work and they're bitching and griping about this and that, like learning where to find the balance and separate that and having those conversations, you know, like not bringing, one of the things that I've always learned is like not bring work home with you, right? And like when we worked jobs, like that was one of our things. Sure. Like obviously, yes, you have outlets that you need to, to release some of that stress and that tension, but like finding that balance so you're not bringing that home energy home and that energy because then that just rubs off and it creates a bad space a bad atmosphere for sure and so yeah that's that's literally how we have figured out how to how to mesh our lives mesh our balance create a structure and literally build the life that we desire and the life that we want to live yeah so with that that's mm -hmm. episode four claws and effect <laughs>